You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today issued Edict 55 for 2016, amending some construction organizational conditions nationwide, which were issued in Edict 28 for 2009. The Minister in Charge of Urban Planning shall enforce the edict from the day following its promulgation in the official gazette. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that the Khalid bin Hamad Youth Theatre Award for national clubs, youth centers, and people with disabilities under the slogan Painting a Smile is to support the youth, which comes in line with the reform project by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The launch of the award is part of a series of generous initiatives sponsored by the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to support the youth. Sheikh Khalid said the Kingdom of Bahrain is being awarded a certificate as the best Arab country that offers future opportunities for the youth, confirming the care given by His Majesty the King to the youth. He added that the theatre stage is an important platform to develop the cultural and arts movements, noting that theatre is an important means to develop the kingdom. Talking about the importance of theatre in our society, Sheikh Khalid noted that it was one of the most important places to instill values and principles in the heart of people. He stressed his strong belief in the role of youth in the theatre movement, adding that the idea of launching this award comes within the aim to support youth talents and energies in the theatre field, which is one of the pillars of art. He directed the award to continue for the second year in a row under the slogan Painting a Smile during the month of November. He expressed his belief in youth leadership roles in all segments under the slogan Painting a Smile. He pointed out that the invitation has been extended to people with disabilities through the participation of many institutions and associations. He noted that these institutions have many talented energies, which he looks forward to watching perform. He took the chance to congratulate the Hala Club for winning the first place in last year's edition and wished all the club success in this edition. Sheikh Khalid said that the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs under the leadership of Hisham bin Mohammed al Jodar is a key partner for the success of the youth. He thanked the ministry for their efforts in providing youth plans and activities that help to develop them in various fields. He also praised the efforts of the working committees and volunteers that are working hard to make this art gathering into success. The first Islamic educational, scientific and cultural organization, ISESCO, Education Ministers Conference, held in Tunisia under the theme towards boosting and activating joint Islamic educational action, called to move from the educational system towards a more learning system in order to answer each country's specific needs. On the sidelines of the conference, ISESCO praised the development of Bahrain at all levels, especially in the education field under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. ISESCO once again denounced the terrorist attacks on schools in the kingdom, which have reached over five attacks. The Director General of ISESCO, Dr. Abdelaziz al Tawajri, expressed pride in the success of Bahrain in developing education and its services, which was proven in the reports and statistics of regional and international organizations, such as UNESCO. He also condemned terrorist acts against educational institutions, adding that it contradicts Islamic and Arab values. He stated that these acts could deprive students from their right to education, stressing that ISESCO fully supports Bahrain in facing such acts. The Natural Health Society today held their annual breast cancer awareness event in Sif Mall. More in this report with Shug Mohammed. The Natural Health Society, in cooperation with the Ministry of Health, held a breast cancer awareness event today and welcomed all interested individuals to attend. Organizers of the event stressed the importance of breast cancer awareness due to its high prevalence in the Kingdom of Bahrain. As the statistic is speaking about the numbers of cases and everyone he have suffering either himself, herself or her friend or her relatives. For that we need to increase the awareness. Faqa bin Saeed Salih, the Minister of Health, also attended the event and stated that raising awareness is a key factor in disease detection. Here in Bahrain, unfortunately, that we have thousands of women they are suffering from this. Uh, early uh, uh, discovery of this uh, disease, it's uh, much important uh, from the beginning for, uh, for the people, I mean the, for the family, uh, all our uh, health, uh, primary health care centers, they are provided with uh, uh, several uh, tests that they can uh, discover uh, earlier uh, this disease. 
today, I mean, we are uh, happy that all the people here in uh, Seath Mall from different categories, they are uh, coming here just to know about uh, how to protect themselves uh, in this disease. Speakers at the event emphasized the importance of early detection and how it could determine a patient's prognosis. Each woman, she can test breast self-examination at home. It will not cost money, it will not cost even time. It will take only a few minutes to practice breast self-examination. Usually, from my experience, long time as a head nurse in oncology center, the patient herself, she is the one who will, who will, she will discover, discover the lung during bath. So the woman, if she will practice breast self-examination regularly and correctly, she will detect early breast cancer and she will take treatment and the recovery will be much better. Today's event has definitely shown the essence of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and has also shown the importance of early detection. For Bahrain News, I'm Shog Mohammed.